Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann, and today I want to show you how to use Screencast-O-Matic. It's an amazing website that helps you screen record as you're doing training or maybe walking through our catalog, which is why I use it primarily. So first things first is you're going to need to either create an account with Screen-O-Matic um, or you're going to use their free version, which allows you to record up to 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and click on start recording for the free version. Um, and again, we go to screenomatic.com. So here up here is where the website is. If you need to zoom in, that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and click on start recording. And what happens is it will prompt you to either pay for their $15 a year pro version or launch the recorder. And we're going to go ahead and launch the recorder. Now, what happens is it's going to download the software because this is something that gets used directly onto your computer. So it's for PC or Mac, it's not necessarily for mobile yet. I already have it, re um, I already have it on my computer. So we're gonna eliminate that process and I'm gonna go and launch my screen o -matic, which is down here, that circle with a dot in the middle and that'll bring up the app. So it's gonna look a lot like what's on the right hand side here. Okay, now as that's loading, um, close this window so you can start a new recording. Let's go ahead and close that window. And the recording comes up, okay. So here we are, this shows you some of the recordings I've already done. What we're gonna do is hit record. Now what happens when you hit record is it starts the process of, it doesn't actually start the recording. So I wanna make sure you understand that and, and that you're not worried about hitting record. What you're gonna notice first is that you have a options or a setting box that is here on the left hand side you can actually do just the screen recording. You could do just your webcam, which would show your face on uh, the computer. Uh, mine's not set up, I don't think. There we go. Hi. So you could do that, or you could do both screen and if you look down at the bottom right, um, there is a screen with me there. So we're going to take that off <laughs> um, and just click screen because that's all we want to do is share the catalog. Now before you do this, you would have wanted to download a PDF version of our catalog from the workstation. I believe it's the marketing tab and save it to your computer and then created an um, Calameo, which is calameo.com and you can go ahead and upload the PDF here and it will create a publication such as this one. Okay. Pretty easy with Calameo, just click publish. It'll ask you to select the file, you upload the file, and then it will show one of these, okay? Um, as I was testing, I did the old catalog to see what it would look like. Now, when you're in Calameo, it has a little eyeball, and this eyeball is how you read the catalog. So if I click on that, it will open up the catalog in publisher format, which means that I'm gonna go ahead and close this ad up here so we can get a complete screen. Basically, it's just left to right reading like we would if we had the catalog in our hand, okay? Whatever is inside of this box right here, do you see this box that I'm moving around? That is the screen area where the recording takes place. Now, I don't want all of that to be showing while I'm doing my catalog walk, so we're just going to, I can't get next to that thing. Um, we're just going to make it the size of the catalog when the catalog is open. So I'm going to click to open up the catalog and we're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like inside of that black and white box. When you're recording, it will turn to red and white. Okay. So once you've got your recording area set up, you've got your recording settings set up, your narration is, is where the microphone is selected. If you have computer audio that's also going to be playing while you're recording, you're going to want to make sure that's set up. Um, otherwise, you're ready to go. You can go ahead and close that out. This red button up here is what starts the recording. 
you click record it'll count you down and here we are we have our new catalog for the season now I'm recording my voice along with this catalog and everything that I do within it it also records um, when you press on the mouse to make something bigger it will also show where your mouse is while you are moving it around and it will continue to go through the process for however long you want in the free version remember it's only 15 minutes okay so I'm now gonna go ahead and click on pause which is this blue button and the two bars click on pause it'll stop the recording momentarily if you wanted to pick up maybe the phone rang or something happened you could hit record and it would continue recording where you left off what happens at this point is you have the ability to what they call truncate so let's say the phone did ring and you want to back up the recording to the point before the phone rang. You actually can click on this bar where the time lot is and click back to a certain spot that you want to see if that's what it is. You can click play. Show where your mouse is while you are okay. moving it around. You can press pause. And so that's what they call truncate. Now, if you were to press this recording button again, it would ask if you wanted to truncate it back to the spot that you, you selected. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and push it all the way forward. And now I'm going to click on done because giving it the done action will actually save the file for you as a recording, as a video, okay? Then you're gonna click on save video file. You're gonna find a spot in your, um, on your desktop to save it. You click publish and it'll, it'll finish the recording. It'll save the recording for you, okay? So let's wait until that's done and then I will um, show you what it looks like once the recording is finished, okay? So now you can either um, play the video or just click on OK. So here's the saved video right here on the left. It says today. I had done one earlier that wasn't good. Um, if you want to click on that, you can delete it from here by clicking on the delete down here on the far bottom right. Yes, delete it. And so now all I have left is this one. If I double click on it, it brings it up into view mode and I can hit play. And here we are, we have our new catalog for the season. Now I'm recording my voice along with this catalog and everything that I do within it. It also records um, when you press on the mouse to make something bigger. It will also show where your mouse is while you are moving it around and it will continue to go through the process for however long you want. In the free version, remember it's only 15 minutes, okay? So I'm now gonna go ahead and click on pause, which is this blue button and the two bars. Okay, so that showed you the little video that we created together. If I click on pause, it'll just stop the video. I can rename it by highlighting up here and naming it Spring Summer 2017 Catalog. Um, and then you can upload this video from the file into Facebook, onto YouTube, wherever you want to utilize it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will be more than happy to help you. Have an amazing day.